Life space update. Life. Um, the big pile of rubble is now gone. Uh, the people who own it <laughs> paid for it to be taken away. And uh, uh, what I'm left with, I was kind of hoping they'd help dig out the foundations as well, but they didn't seem keen on that idea, and I can see their point. Um, so, what we're left with is this. <laughs> and uh, it was a bit lumpier, but I've kind of flattened it out. And um, I think, honestly, that's... Um, I should stop fussing over this. Um, it's basically a yard. I've made a yard. Uh, my original, a little bit of trivia, my original degree, you know, undergraduate degree, was in archaeology. And we archaeologists know that soil builds up over time. And that's what berries, um, because plants grow, then they die, the leaves fall to the ground, they decompose, that becomes soil. And uh, archaeological features, uh, foundations of buildings, walls, pottery, etc., get buried. And um, so, I guess that's what I'm kind of thinking will happen here. Um, it's, it's still not that great to walk on, and I am sort of thinking I'll try to tidy up a few more of the bigger rocks. Um, but basically, I'm hoping growth, uh, compost heap, I think I talked about this a little bit before, two compost heaps right now. And um, obviously it's winter right now, so there hasn't been too much plant growth. Sun, sun's out today, it's nice. Um, but I think the idea is that um, once stuff starts growing, I'll cut it down, it'll grow again, I'll cut it down again, it'll grow again, I'll cut it down again. It'll gradually build up soil um, and make this just a bit nicer. And obviously there'll be a layer of concrete underneath the soil, which is not ideal for digging holes. Um, but that's probably about the best we can do at the moment because the alternative is to uh, pay lots and lots of money to widen the entranceway and get a digger in, dig out all the foundations. And I really don't have that much money. So, um, this is, we've made a yard, and uh, honestly, I think that, you know, it's good enough. It's certainly good enough to play in, and um, probably the next challenge is to start making um, making a start on actually it being, you know, a play space as a, as a, as a functioning <laughs> entity. Um, so that's where I'm at. I'm not quite sure exactly what the next step is, but I'm thinking about it. All right, thanks for watching.